Right guys, so there's a summer sale at Steam today. I'm just noticing the summer sale that's uh, ongoing with Steam. Um, it doesn't say anything else other than that. I'll try and jump into it if I can. It's not letting me in. It says from June 29 to July 13, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific. So if you're interested in, you know, buying games at a discounted price, that's the best thing to do. Red Dead Redemption 2 is at a discount. So is Rainbow Six Siege and uh, Horizon. It's not really showing me a price on Horizon. I mean, the... I don't know why this thing is always squished up. Let me see. It it looks big for some reason. I mean this uh I wonder if they've changed it. Right, so I'm just looking at whatever games I've got that's new. I'm not really seeing anything that's new. Good night, good luck update. Uh, I have I've never heard of this game. I'm just going to jump into it. I just want to see what this game's about. Oh, Dying Light 2. Alright, Dying Light, okay. Right, guys. So, basically, all I'm doing right now is... It says, get your hands on Steam Deck up to 20% off June 29 uh, to July 13. So, let's see what's up with this one. Right, the 64 gigabyte would have been 314 pounds and 10 pence the 256 gigabyte version would be 390.15 cents the 512 gigabyte version is 455.20 pence so basically even though they're discounted they're all sold out so it's crazy i mean Oh yeah, the dock is also at uh, 63 pounds, 20 pence. Uh, it's also discounted as well. So if you want to get the dock for 60 pounds, this is the best time to do it. It says top 100 games played on Steam Deck. And it goes from Hogwarts Legacy, Vampire, Survivors, Elden Ring, Resident Evil 4, The Witcher 3, Dead Cells, Hades, Street Fighter 6. Uh, Brotato, Red Dead Redemption 2, Dredge, Stardew Value, Valley, Grand Theft Auto 5, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Autopath Traveler 2, Cult of Lamb, High Fi Rush, No Man's Sky, Persona 5 Royale, Star Wars Jedi, Fallen Order, God of War, the Last of Us, Sons of Forest, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, Skyrim, Marvel's Midnight Suns, NBA 2K23, Fallout 4, Valheim, Path of Exile, Monster Hunter Rise, Warhammer, Horizon Zero Dawn, Counter-Strike. The list goes on and on, guys. So it's just basically they're just showing uh, and straight. Uh, they're just showing different games that are available. So Steam Deck at a discounted price, uh, currently out of stock. But obviously, I mean, this is the sale is ongoing uh, into July. So it's good to just have a, uh, an eye on this to see what's, uh, what's going on. I'm just looking at new and trending. I want to see six days in Fallujah. Like I said, I would love to play that game. But... Uh, you know, uh, you have to pay for new stuff. I mean, I don't mind paying for new games. I'm just saying at the moment, I don't have... Oh, this is Paper Planes. That's nice. A new game. I'm wondering... Oh, yeah. Okay. Impossible stance. All right. Okay. So, basically, I'm just looking at new uh, games that are currently out. This tripang thing, I don't know it's, if this is a VR game. Might be VR. Let's look at the demo and see what this is all about.
I tried playing that game last time on Steam Deck, it didn't work for me. I'm just saying when I tried it, it didn't work on mine, um, my Steam Deck, I don't know. Um, I want to look at the graphics, it says Radeon HD 7072 gigs of RAM, Intel Arc A380 6 gigs of RAM. So basically, this will take uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760 uh, with 2 gigs of VRAM. I mean, minimum these days is a GTX 10, 1060 with 6 gigs of VRAM. Intel Arc A750 if you've got one. Or the AMD Radeon RX 590 8 gig of VRAM. Right, I'm deciding to, to install the demo. When I'm in this, guys, I do like to look at the demos to see what's uh, current, what's coming up. If you want to know what's up and coming in... Um, look at this one. If you want to know what's up and coming in, um, in Steam, then this is the best place to look at. You just come to the demos and then you look for new games. So if you're interested in finding new games, this is where you come to. Right, so that's a demo of a new game called Prison Life Simulator The Legend of um, Navali or something. So that's what I'm saying, if you're interested in finding out what uh, games are up and coming, like new games, this is where you'd come to. I'm just saying, this one is called My Courses. So what happens in here with demos is that they give you a demo that you can download, select where you want to install it, install the game, and that's basically it come out of that demo. And just keep looking at the demos that you think are interesting. This one's called Sand, this one's called Prime Detective, Directive, Prime Directive. 
This one's called Sand. Um, this one is called, um, I'm trying to get the name. This one's called Open Door Demo. This one has a, a name to it. I'm, I'm just trying to get the name. I can't actually read the name, basically. It's called Antanasi. Antanasi. Good thing is in here, they allow you to download demos. You understand? So if you want to know what the game is like, you can watch it, the trailer. You can also download the demo and then play the demo. So in the demos, uh, basically you'd come in here just to see what's up and coming, guys. You can download games. Like I said, you can download the demos. Sometimes it does give you a highlight, which is good. So as you come into the demos, selecting the games you want to look at, watching the trailers, downloading the demos, uh, selecting where you want to install your game.
So this is where you'd actually find games that are going to come out eventually. Uh, not all games are new. So some games do say coming soon and then some games uh, may be already out. But it doesn't mean that you don't have to download it. This one is called Tra T Z A K O L in Exile. So I, I don't know what kind of game this is. It does state that the game is coming out soon, so it's not a game that's currently available. So what I'm saying is when you come in here. When you come in here, this is where you would find games that are not yet currently out. And then you can try, you know, you can try them out before anyone else. This is called Zombie Vegas. It doesn't actually have a trailer on it. But it's got pictures. I don't know what it's about. It's not showing much, just... I think it's uh, based on a casino of some kind. This game's called One Way. Sorry guys, I'm just... This game's called One Way, it's a demo. Where's my... What happened to the sound? So you'd come in here and this is where you'd find games and basically you'd uh, download the demo and then... Um, now connected to Geotrans. Okay, that's the end of the trailer. This game did come out last year. So it's currently out on Steam. And it's called One Way. So if you're interested in this game, it's called One Way. I'm just looking at the other demos. This demo is called Project Outbreak, and it's um, coming coming soon. So it's not, it hasn't been released yet, guys. So The game is called Project Outbreak. It's not yet out. It's saying coming soon. Uh, you can download the demo from Steam, obviously.
Right, so Steam is giving out stickers, guys. It says claim your free daily sticker or sale long. So while the sale is ongoing, you can claim a free sticker, guys. In here, the demos, basically, they're just different demos that are currently out. So, if anything catches your fancy, you just click on it and you can uh, you can actually install the demo without uh, entering the game. I think sometimes it will allow you to just download the demo. Sometimes you have to go into the actual... I mean, you click on the game and then it takes you in. And then you can actually, you know... This this looks interesting. It says Planet Go Demo. So I just want to see what this is about. It does say coming soon. So I'm going to download it, guys, uh, or the demo. Going to select a different place to download. This is Planet Gore. This is the trailer. This one's called Mad Miner. Right, so basically, after you watch the trailers and stuff, uh, you can look at the screenshots. It's entitled Mad Miner. I get a feeling like it's it reminds me of Steam World, you know, where you go around uh, or Terraria, you know, like uh, breaking blocks. It's it looks interesting. It it does say twenty three June, so I think this did come out. Yeah, it's got a price on it, but it does have a demo. You can uh, install the demo if you want to play the game first before actually buying the game. The good thing about these demos is there's so many of them. So if, for example, you downloaded a demo, but you're not really playing it, you can always delete it. 
uh, I'm going to show you a method of uh, what to do. For example, like if you find a game you like, but uh, you don't have space on your Steam Deck, you need to remove the game, but you want to find it later, you know? So I'll, I'll show you a technique. Uh, my way is just to show you that you can actually save the game. I don't actually have a lot of racing games, so I'm going to go for this one game uh, that says uh, The Drift Challenge. So, for example, let's say I'm, uh, I like this game. I want to download this game. I'm in the demo, you know, but maybe later on, I would like to, I would like to, like, I, I, I want to install it for another time. So this is the actual game, guys. It's called Drift, um, Drift Challenge. It already came out on the 29th of June, 2023. It's called Drift, the Drift Challenge. Right, so let's say, for example, I wanted this game. Um, I've installed the demo, yada, yada, you know. How do I then save it? Right, so go, go to your downloads like this. And I think you click on here, and then you go to... Oh, yeah, sorry, I, I skipped the thingy. Go to your downloads, right? Go to your downloads like this. Select the game you want, like that. Select whatever game it is. And where it's got the star thingy here, click on the star. And what that does, it saves it in here. It saves it in your favorites. So, next time, for example, if, if ever I deleted that game... I didn't want the game anymore for whatever reason, but I still want to download it for later. Maybe I'm running out of space. I, I can't keep the game, um, but I want to download it later on. It will go into my favorites. And then what will happen is that the next time when I want to download the game, when I go to my favorites, even though it's not installed, it will appear on my favorites list. The only way these games will show up on your... Um, on your library is that maybe you still have it installed but if you delete the game sometimes it will not save the, um, the actual game in your library as a direct result that you never played it so let's say you don't play the game at all like zero hours you've you just installed it but you've never actually played it um, unless you're following the game it would not like reveal to you like um you know like it's it, it might be difficult to find the next time you understand so what i'm doing here is i'm starring it you see that's the gamepad that's the settings thingy here manage and then this is information and the star thingy here so the star is just in case i like the game and later on i i do decide i want to keep the game but i just don't have space in my system as on my steam deck my pc my computer macbook uh whatever you're using to play your games it's just basically the same thing that's the controller there you know like applying what comfort controller configuration you want seeing this is steam because they do allow you to add emulation to your controller like mapping or you want to select the mapping for this game the next is manage manage just allows you to remove the game or um, uh, move it, you know, in storage or whatever, or to verify files, like to fix the games and stuff. That's like managing the game. I is for information, and then the last one is the one I'm saying you need to use the star. So in future, should you need to find the game, it goes to your favorite, it goes over here. It doesn't need to be installed on your Steam Deck for it to show up, but what I'm saying is. It's just a good idea to have the game in case you do, you do decide that you like the game. And then for later on, when you do decide, well, you know what? I like the game so much, I would like to buy it or whatever. Or I like to reinstall it when I do get space on the Steam Deck, on your PC, laptop, whatever you use it for games. Then it goes to your... It goes... Look, like you click on it, click on the star, it goes to your favorites. If it is not installed, you see this is not installed, but because it's got the star on it there, 
it still appears in my favorites. I do have some hours on the game. I did play this for a few hours. Uh, it does say playtime here, 66 minutes. That's like an hour. So it would have shown up in my library anyway because I did play games. I did do have playtime on this. But what I'm saying is just to make it easier to find, I started. I do like the games called Moonrunner. It does work flawlessly on the Steam Deck. But like I said, at, at the time I didn't have space. So I decided to to start it. So if I ever wanted to install it again, I could. Right, guys. So I uh, was downloading some other games. I've shown you what demos are for, what the demos is all about. It's just like you want to test the game, you want to play the game. Um, like I said, if you want to see the new games, up and coming games, demos. Uh, early access is also for new games or older games. Uh, currently playing free to play is what where I'm mostly at. Uh, only because there may be some games in here that that are new uh, or up and coming games, or sometimes they're even still in the demo stages uh, or the playtest, like Battle Bit Remastered was in the uh, playtest. That's why I was able to play it before it came out. Of course, now you have to pay for it. You need to pay for Battle Bit Remastered. But I'm talking about way back when, uh, when I didn't have to pay. And I could just um, basically have the game and just play the game without actually paying for it. This is a new game. It says United Heist, uh, free to play. I've not seen this one before. I'm just noticing it, you know, because obviously I've been in here a couple of times. I've not seen that. Uh, look at this one, uh, Blood Strike. Uh, it's like zombies or something. It says it's a massively multiplayer. It says it's a shooter 3D FPS action. But I don't see, if it's a multiplayer, how come you're not shooting anyone? No, I'm just saying because, look, I'm going to jump into this game. <laughs> Like, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Where are the other people? So this game is called Blood Strike. It's this is a demo. Well, sorry, free to play game. It it does say listen it it does it does actually it does actually say something about um, like multiplayer but I don't see the multiplayer aspect of it it just looks it reminds me of uh, those other games where you know where you go and you um, you play with a bunch of people When I say you play with a bunch of people, I mean like it's um, like Left 4 Dead type of gameplay. I, I don't think it's an actual, I don't think it's an actual squad based game. I think it's more Left 4 Dead style type of gameplay where you just got hordes of zombies and you're just shooting hordes of zombies. This game is called Heist. Looks pretty interesting though. You know what, I'm just reminding myself, there's a game that I saw uh, earlier on. I think it's called Open Door something. So, it's called Open Door. It was in the demos, but um, I'll try and look for it in here to see if I can actually download the game. Uh, 
I mean, if if I do find it. So, like I said last time, I'm going to focus mainly on new games because I I did have the other games. Uh, this is called Winter Survival Prologue. From what I understand, it's a very good game. This one is called Red Match Two. Uh, this is called Eternium. Eternium. It's called Free to Play. Wait, let me see this thing. Is this a new game? No, this came out in 2021. It just looks interesting. Looks like a Diablo type game. It's called Eternium. E T E R N I U M. So if you want to play that, it's a free to play game. Uh, just go to your free to play on Steam and you will definitely find that game. It's called Eternium. Something like that. Right, guys. So basically, I'm not actually playing games at the moment. I'm just looking at anything that's new, that's up and coming on Steam. I mean, some of these games are, have been out for a very long time, so there's no point in me mentioning their names. Like Pixel, um, you know, there's a lot of Battle Royale style types, type of games that are available on Steam. The only way for me to, for me to actually say... To you guys, like, you know, for you guys to find these games, just go to your uh, Steam library, I mean Steam store, and look for free-to-play games, and you should find it in here. I mean, you'll find games that I've got, you understand? So, I think this is where you'll find all the games. Right, I'm trying to get back to what I was looking at before. Uh, I think... Uh, let's see, right, uh, I'm trying to get to, this one called Trasha Global, T-R-A-H-A -A -A Global, G-L-O-B-A-L, -L. so I don't know what this one's like, it looks like a mobile or something, it's saying November 2, 2022, so this came out last year in November, it says it's a combat, yeah, it's, it's an MMO. Uh, it's a RPG action corp PVP. So you can play this with other people. So it says other people, but I'm I'm not like hundred percent sure about that. So let's see. It came out last year, November. Right. So. Let's go Trasha Global. It looks pretty interesting. I've I've not seen this like you know like proper proper seen it. But anyway, I'm just looking at anything else that is new. Uh, there should be a lot of games in here. I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just saying. Um, you know, like I, I've not noticed a lot of these games, right? Um, it's saying this game called Stormgate is, is up and coming, right, guys? So basically, I'm just going to be showing you up and coming soon games Dungeon Stalkers. One day, an enormous dungeon emerged in between two countries, a huge dungeon created by a mysterious witch. One day, an enormous dungeon merged in between two countries. A huge dungeon created by a mysterious witch. Whoever enters the dungeon will be cursed by the witch, but honor and fortune lie within. Those who risk their lives each day in search of money, honor, and truth, people started to call them Dungeon Stalkers. Dark. 
I need to see her. She's probably trembling in the dark. Why you sacrifice anything if I can see my daughter? Even the life is hers. That's called Dungeon Stalkers. It's called Dungeon Stalkers. It's due on December 2023. <laughs> so that's a, a coming up game. Let's see what else is there. This is called Back Rooms. And it says coming soon. That's that's called backrooms. That's coming out. Uh, it doesn't have a specific date. It just says coming soon. It's got a second trailer, guys. I have played this, I played this last year, but uh, I mean, it wasn't as detailed as this one. It's, it's just basically, it didn't give you the um, this third person view, it had the first person view, whereas you just go to different rooms. It, it's more like a base type scenario. I didn't feel like horror type situation. I mean, it, it, it was a demo that I played, but still. Like I'm saying, it's, it had a first-person view, not this. This one's actually giving you third-person view. Like, you can see the character. Whereas the one I played last year, I'm sure it was last year, was um, first-person view, so you couldn't see your character at all. This one says to be announced. It's called Stormgate. So it's to be announced. It's, it's not yet out. It's not yet currently out. So this is Stormgate.
guys, this is TLO. Obviously, Blade Archie is my entire life, so it's been a real privilege for me to be one of the first people to try out Stone Way. Really stoked about this match against Kevin. I think I'm gonna do some light harass in the early game and then just try to overlap another massive amount of macro. Hi, my name is Kevin Monk Dong, and I work on gameplay and balance on Skullgame. Today, I'll be trying a fast expansion build, and then I'll try to tech to higher tier units to defend whatever TLO throws up. damage there, so I'm at a pretty bad economic disadvantage. I'm going to have to try some really sneaky tactics, maybe getting an upgrade TLO isn't familiar with, perhaps maybe even luckily creepjacking him. side through the light trees but this time they'll bring in a large of force from the left side as well and um, I think I'll be able to out micro here uh, he has a more static mac on me I believe and I should be able to touch uh, all the tech shots get in there and I have a pretty smooth path of tech here. This game is called Ashfall.
Hello, this is Steve Pissarro. And this is Hans Zimmer. And we're very happy to be here. Probably about a year, year and a half ago, they came to us with a bunch of concepts of these kind of futuristic, post-apocalyptic settings. As a gamer myself, it really kind of seemed really cool to fuse these different elements of this, this futurism and this post-apocalyptic environment. Because we wanted to keep it very cinematic, we kept orchestra as the through line to each of the places that you go and all of the things that you do. We also included a lot of synth, and synth can sound basically like anything from a sine wave to what sounds like a real instrument. And so a lot of it is bridging the gap between the orchestra and the synth and creating a world for each of these locations that kind of speak to the world itself. We'd also use a lot of soloist instruments that have different timbres or qualities to them that lend themselves to, depending on where you are in the game. You know, for instance, there's a couple of Chinese instruments that we use in some of the cities, and then there's some more like woody flute type instruments that we use in some other cities based on their establishment and based on the city themselves. Video games have opened a whole new territory of freedom of what, how we can express ourselves sonically. And the more imagination there is in the video games, the more imagination we can add to the music. How you keep the player engaged is the music, you know, and the music becomes this river and you're basically on this journey and on this boat, you know, pretend on a journey and the, the music drives you, but, you know, lets you be in this journey and lets you feel different things and color things differently and, and just keeps you constantly emotionally engaged. For the battle music, we had a couple iterations of low intensity and high intensity music, and so the player could kind of gradually go from sneaking around to intense, you know, boss battles and action like that. And when you hear the first note of the music when you start this game, you know, I immediately want you to be thrust into this post apocalyptic world. I want to carry you on this journey. truly recognizes the genius that you are. Um, yeah, I'm kind of making team coffees for you. No, you know, no, 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 but, no, no, but no, I'm saying, you know, thank you for being with us. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for enjoying the game. And um, thank you for just being a great audience. Yeah, thank you.